What if the next missile screaming toward a billion-dollar warship never gets within 10 miles? What if a silent flash of light just turns it into confetti? China says that future isn't just possible, it's already here. Meet the LY-1, a 50-kilowatt, truck-mounted laser that fires at the literal speed of light for the price of a slice of pizza. Today, we're unpacking how this thing works, what it destroys, and why Air Force planners globally just lost sleep. Cheap drones are the new artillery, folks. A $20,000 quadcopter can carry a mortar shell, cripple a tank, or even shut down an airport. Cruise missiles cost more, sure, but they still drastically undercut the million-dollar interceptors we're forced to fire back. The math is brutal. Attackers bleed budgets dry while their hardware multiplies like mosquitoes. Add hypersonic glide vehicles that outrun sound by factor 5, and suddenly legacy air defense looks like a musket against a machine gun. Directed energy is the West's attempted fix, now China is fielding its own answer. The LY-1? It's the first unit you can actually roll onto a deck or a parade square. It doesn't need reloads, warheads, or even gunpowder, just diesel for its generator and a clear line of sight. Translation. Swarms that used to saturate radars now meet a wall of photons that never miss. Its designation, LY-1, stands for Lu Yong-1, roughly, green light, a cool nod to the emerald beam seen in promo reels. Public debut came during China's 2025 Victory Day Parade, mounted on an eight-wheel armored chassis, but sailors are the real customers. Destroyers, carriers, and helicopter landing docks will carry the naval variant. Core hardware is a single steerable turret with a dinner plate-sized lens ringed by smaller eyes, electro-optical, infrared, and passive RF sensors. A rectangular radome on top feeds targeting data so the beam can dwell on the same postage stamp spot while both platform and target jink around. Power rating sits at 50 kilowatts, same bracket as the US Army's Hell IFPC. Here's the kicker. It's allegedly married to new Chinese cooling loops that let it shoot indefinitely instead of pausing to vent heat. If claims hold, the LY-1 is the first operational high-energy laser that can fire until the fuel cans run dry. Forget muzzle velocity. The LY-1's projectile is infrared light moving 300,000 kilometers every second. That means zero travel time against anything inside horizon range. Aim the mirror, press the pedal, energy arrives before the trigger spring finishes flexing. The beam dumps roughly five supermarket kettles of boiling power into a two-centimeter circle, aluminum skins vaporize, plastic fuel tanks ignite, and optical seekers turn into expensive sunglasses. No blast or shrapnel means neighboring civilians onshore don't get showered by debris, handy when parked in a foreign port. The only giveaway is a faint popping sound as air along the beam path ionizes in a quick whiff of ozone. Against drones, hold the spot on a wing route for 3 seconds, melt a hole, snap the spar, aircraft folds. Against missiles, torch the guidance section, forcing it to swim blindly, or go for the warhead and cook the explosive until it burns, not detonates. Either way, the inbound dies quietly, usually before radar hands off to the fire control computer. A single SM-2 missile sets a Navy back about $2 million, and HHQ-9 isn't much cheaper. The LY-1's round is a few cents of diesel converted into electricity. Each pull of the trigger costs roughly the same as running a microwave for an hour, say $3. Multiply that by a hundred drone intercepts and you've spent lunch money instead of buying a new condo. Sure, the upfront R&D and platform aren't free, but once installed you can fire thousands of times during the ship's career. That flips the economic attrition game on its head. Attackers can no longer bankrupt defenders by throwing plywood drones. Analysts talk about dollar-for-dollar dollar parity, the holy grail where defensive cost finally undercuts offensive cost. If this trend spreads, tomorrow's wars may be decided not by who has the deepest pockets but by who has the best battery cooling. Picture a Type 055 cruiser cruising the Taiwan Strait. On radar appears a barrage of 150-kilogram explosive drones. Legacy practice would mean salvos of medium-range missiles, risking magazine depletion. Instead, the LY-1 sloughs, 
paints the lead drone, holds for two heartbeats, target drops flaming. Repeat at machine tempo. The entire wave collapses while escort destroyers keep their missile cells full for incoming supersonic anti-ship weapons. On land, a single LY-1 guarding an airstrip could blunt drone harassment for a fraction of traditional shorad cost. Strategically, this weapon tilts sea lane control toward China. Adversary carriers must now launch aircraft from outside laser range, roughly 10 nautical miles in humid Asian seas, compressing their on-station time. Chinese marines can land under an invisible shield. None of this means the laser is invincible. Rain, dust, or deliberate smoke cut beam strength, and mirrors only work with line of sight. But add a layered stack of HHQ-9s, railguns, and EW pods, and you have a defensive bubble that's brutally expensive to crack. Let's pump the brakes. 50 kilowatts is impressive yet still an order of magnitude below what engineers think you need to puncture a hypersonic warhead in under a second. Atmospheric absorption steals roughly half the energy per kilometer in humid conditions, so the effective burn range is classified but almost certainly under 10 kilometers against hardened steel. Smoke grenades, sea fog, or even burnt tire screens can scatter the beam enough to let drones slip through. While cooling has improved, sustained output still stresses optics, Replaceable sapphire windows are pricey and may cloud after heavy firing. The West isn't standing still. The US Navy's Helios is slated for 300 kilowatts, and Israel's Iron Beam promises similar power in 2026. So the LY-1 may enjoy a five-year window before peer lasers match or outclass it. Within that window, though, it gives China a real combat edge and priceless operational experience in what sailors call the photon age. Expect future iterations to scale toward 150 to 300 kilowatts, Titan beam quality, and integrate eye-enabled target handoff to cut engagement time to under a second. If this breakdown rewired how you see naval warfare, smash that like so the algorithm surfaces it for the next defense geek. Drop a comment. Would you rather trust unlimited laser shots or a magazine of pricey missiles? You don't wear a uniform? Fine. The same tech that vaporizes drones will soon guard airports against rogue quadcopters, powerline companies against wayward hobby planes, even stadiums against selfie-crowded skies. Directed energy is moving from sci-fi to municipal budgets faster than you think. If China Mass exports a 30 kilowatts cousin of the LY-1 to belt and road ports, every insurer will recalculate risk near those harbors. Lower risk means cheaper shipping rates, which eventually trickles down to the price of your imported sneakers. On the flip side, a world where any coast guard cutter can burn a hole through a smuggler's engine at the press of a button raises ethical questions about proportionality and accountability. There's no shell crater to photograph, no shrapnel to trace, just a neat cut and a stalled vessel. Policymakers are already behind the curve, understanding the hardware arms you to join the debate before rules are written without us. The LY-1 is not the final word in laser combat, it's the opening paragraph. It proves China can field a cool, ship-ready 50 kilowatts weapon that silently deletes drones for pocket change, forcing rivals to rethink swarm tactics and missile barrages. Yes, weather and power still limit its reach, but every successive version will stretch that bubble further until supersonic slips and hypersonic ducks won't be fast enough. Expect copycats, countermeasures, and an arms race fought at the speed of light. Keep your eye on this space, because the next superpower showdown may be decided not by who fires first, but by who losses last. Subscribe and stay sharp, photons are quicker than thoughts, and the future is already here.